Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. Last time we got the cultural tradition all set up here, which means that it is time for us to start building up some of our holdings. It's time for us to start just continuing to improve our realm in general. But before we do, it has been pointed out that the AI can technically stop this. What it could do is if on succession our heir is not Dutch, well, we won't be the cultural head, so someone else will be the cultural head, and they can stop it, in theory. Like, it's something the AI can do. But, just to, um, you know, take away any doubt, our heir is very much Dutch, which is fantastic for us. In fact, not only is our heir Dutch, but our heir's heir is Dutch. Despite being kings of France, they are, in fact, Dutch. So it should all be fine. But, you know, thank you for pointing it out. Next thing on our list, however, um, in terms of improving our realm, is up here. This is another one from the comments. Suggested that we just take a quick look at all of our um, contracts with vassals, just to see what exactly we've agreed to and what exactly we could be getting. So what does this mean? This contract has been changed, but you can still view obligations. Well, that's fine. And has been changed to include non-standard obligations. So what have we got here? All right, yes, it can't be revoked. I remember doing that. That's fine. Next vassal, normal, normal. So we could, in theory, change this one if we wanted to. We could get a little bit more tax out of him. We'd get a little bit more levies. We would have to give him something. Otherwise, it's tyranny, but we could do it. For instance, we could say, hey, I would like an extra little bit of tax, but I'm going to sanction your war declarations, which means absolutely nothing. I mean, if they pay 50% less for Cassus Bellies within the realm, but... It basically means absolutely nothing, which I think we might do. Now, why would it mean something? Well, if we raise this to the next level, I think it is, or is it the level above that? Okay, no, it's this level. Vassals cannot wage war against other vassals unless they use a hook on their leash. Sanctioned war declaration gets rid of that. And then I think level four is vassals cannot declare war. Uh, it cannot wage any war. Yeah, and that would get rid of that. We don't tend to spend a lot of time on 3 and 4 uh, Crown Authority, so I'm kind of tempted. I think we might do that. I think we might start pushing taxes up across the board just to increase the speed that we can build. So let's do that. It's going to make people dislike us slightly, but we're okay with that. Okay, this has been changed, but not in this lifetime. So actually, what we could do with this person from Gelra is we could say, I want extortionate taxes and then this. Now, that does mean he's starting with a negative 40 opinion of us, which is quite high. Is there anything else we want? Um, don't really need any of this. No. Um, no, I, th I, th I think actually we're kind of okay here. I don't know, maybe minus 35 opinion is not that bad. I think it's not that bad. We can always change it back next lifetime. He might be unhappy. Okay. This is the, we're going to make some vassals very unhappy. Levy and taxes are reduced as we're not his rightful leash. Well, that's true. We're not his rightful leash. So, I mean, there's not a lot we can do there. If I raise this, he pays us zero extra tax. Okay. So right now he's paying us a very, very small, he's paying us 5.5% of 1.3. Okay. Which is why it comes out as zero. It's not really zero, but it's pretty low. It's pretty low. Uh, we could lower his taxes as he's paying us nothing and raise his levies. That's possible, right? Get a little bit of something out of him rather than absolutely nothing, basically. Okay, what else could we get out of him? It's not really anything else I want. I think I might do that. We might go low taxes, high levies on this character. Let's modify that. So all of these little changes are going to matter over time. Oh, this is it. This is all of our vassals. I forgot we have basically no vassals. Okay, so you're already paying me high um, taxes, which is lovely. Uh, could I get you to pay me more taxes? It gets us to 0 0.1. What is your taxable income? Your taxable income is 1. So you're paying us 8% of 1, which means you're paying us like um, 0.1-ish. But yeah, slightly less than 0 0.1. We could lower this. That would increase his opinion of us. And we could raise this at the same time. Get seven extra troops. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of happy just to leave that a normal. Yeah, let's just move it down. I'm almost tempted to do this. 
and actually get something out of it. But if he ever gets power, then his um, contract's going to be mess messed up. Given we've lowered this, we could get him something out of this. We could get him, like, forced partition or something. He'd be very unhappy. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just leave him at normal. We could just leave him at high. Yeah, you know what? I've decided on second thought I'm going to change nothing. There you go. That's actually, and I believe that's a like some kind of fallacy as well, or it's like something that's noticed in psychology, which is um, if you give somebody a, a like problem and you say this is the way things currently are, what changes would you make to make it better? Quite often they'll be like, if the changes aren't major, they'll go, no, actually the way it is is the best way, and it's like, yeah, it's just because that's what you were offered first. Anyway, um. We'll leave that as it is. We made a little extra money out of that. Not a huge amount, but that's okay. Um, we could hold court. Sure, let's hold court. We have some money. We might be able to do something cool with this. Okay, Frontier Fracas. I've come to declare that the people of um, Arnheim are refusing to pay the taxes you have levied upon us. Okay. So, uh, we can imprison this person. Yeah. Uh, get martial lifestyle experience and experience in crowd control. Or... Um, it will give us a tax revolt. Okay, trick the ringleaders into an ambush. I am willing to hear you out. Diplomacy challenge. Negotiate them. Okay. We'll gain a plus 20% acceptance bonus the next time they request another character become their vassal. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of intriguing. Um, you've been misinterpreting the charters. It's a lovely one when you can get it because you just get pure money out of it and vassal taxes or give them what they want. Well, I mean, given that we have one that's a 100% chance, I think we'll just do it. Yeah. I think this seems fine. A traitor uncovered. One of my guards approaches with my knight, um, Arthur in chains. Is this the person who tried to kill us before? I think it might be. Yeah. Anyway. I called um, Arthur here in the process of sending sensitive information to foreign spies in Lotharengia. What should be done with them? Kill him. Forgive once, get a hook, or um, imprison him. I think we forgive once and get the hook. That's fine. Hawks and doves. Uh, war is the only way to make a country rich and powerful. Only in peace can a country grow and prosper. Okay, um, so we can support war or peace. I think we want peace, right? It lowers our levy size, though. I don't really want either. I want to just make them both unhappy. Yeah. We don't really want to change this ratio. That's fine. Anything else we could change in here? We have a little bit more money. We could potentially push our way up. How much would it cost us to get to seven? Because that's effectively where we get a big bonus. So how do we get there? So if I went decent food, most servants, I would have to go like, well, let's go like this. I would have to do this at a minimum. It costs us um, an extra 1.4 a month. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to. I think we can hold off for just now. But it's not that far away from being something we should do. Just checking we had all the artifacts equipped. Cool. Right, so we can demand 10 gold from our knight. That seems like a waste, probably, um, of the strong hook. But we could do. He is about to die, right? Yeah, he's about to die. I'll just take his 10 gold. It's not like he's earning any money either. So, that's fine. Negotiate an alliance with our cousin. No, we can't. Council members want to be on the council. Or strong vassals want to be on the council. There's no positions available. Um, artifacts have low durability. We could repair these. Uh, but what do we get if we reforge this? I can't reforge because I don't have a... Because um, I don't have an antiquarian. Okay. Uh, to fully repair that, it costs us 150. Wow, that's a large amount. To repair this one, it costs us 75. It's not that good. Well, it is actually per le learning per devotion. You know what? That is kind of good. Hmm. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, I guess I do kind of want to pay for both of these at some point. Yeah, how many years do I get? I get quite a lot of years out of it, to be fair. I get 60 years out of each of them. What do I get if I destroy it? 80 gold. Hmm. I think I leave it for a little bit. I do another building, but we definitely want to, um, yeah, we definitely want to repair them. Right. Uh, next thing, we have to choose between men at arms and buildings. I would like to upgrade our men at arms, actually. I also want to fix our knights, because we have no knights currently that are, as in we don't have our accoladed knights. 
Let's let's get some um let's get some of them. I don't restore accolades. You do not fulfill all the requirements. Have at least one inactive accolade and no knights who can be appointed to it. Oh, I have an inactive accolade with a knight that can be appointed to it? Uh wait, or do I just have no are those accolades I had just gone? I think they're just gone forever. Oh no, inactive. I see. Ah, and they're horn blower. I can then appoint somebody to it. Okay. So I could appoint um, Barthir, my knight. Okay. That's fine. I'm not really that interested in activating this one. It's not really the one I was looking for. But it is the one that gave me the extra heavy infantry one. So it's what triggered my uh, um, mind to go in here. Okay, so now I can restore accolades, right? Because now I have an accolade which is not... No? I thought it said... If you have one that you cannot appoint anyone to, then you can restore. Maybe I have to unpause. Let's unpause. Okay, let's go just a little bit forward. Hmm. You have at least one inactive accolade and no knights who can be appointed to it. That is correct. Oh, maybe it's checking both of these. Maybe I need to put in a successor to this one. Okay. Um, nope, still still not working, huh? Let's go to the end of the month. Usually that's when it does a recalculation of what's actually available. Hmm. I have an inactive accolade, and I have no knights that can be appointed to it. Therefore, that's that should trigger. Correct? Hmm. Interesting. So maybe I have a knight who can be appointed to it, but also can't be appointed to it. Like, I have a knight... Maybe I have a knight which fits the requirements to be appointed to it, but I cannot appoint them to it for another reason. Right? That's what I think is happening here. It's something that I think happens some other times in the game. I can't remember a specific example, but it's like a... You do have somebody who can do it, but that somebody is currently unavailable to do it. So therefore, it you kind of get this deadlock where it's like, you can't do it, but yet you can do it. Okay. Um, I don't know how to find a knight manually who could do these ones. I guess you would find a hunter maybe, and then that would allow you to do it. Yeah, maybe there's a hunter we could invite to our court. Let's search all, all for a... Dutch Hunter. Let's see what we get. Okay, Dutch Hunter who is not a ruler. Okay, it's a very small list, so let's see what we can do here. Invite, minus 60. Just try to find the lowest in... You're, you're minus 20, so that's probably the lowest negative. Uh, minus 40? Okay. Minus 35... You're already in my court. Ah, so you're my court tutor. Maybe you're the one who's causing the problem here. Yeah, maybe you're the one who's causing the problem. Maybe court tutors can't have that position. Okay, so I'm going to invite this guy to my court. I'm going to send him a gift. He will still not accept the invite to court. Wow. Okay, well. That sucks. So I guess there's no other way to get somebody in here. Yeah, because invite to court... Yeah, they're base reluct he's he only has base reluctance, right? Yeah, and we didn't manage to get over that. I could increase my lodging standards by ten. That will get him into court. Okay, so I need to increase our lodging standards by uh, ten. So we're going up here, we're going back to five. It's cost me an extra zero point four per month to try this out, but let's try it. Okay, so my lodging standards are now higher. He will now accept an invite to court. Okay, so he's now in. So is he now eligible to be a... Oh, that's the wrong one. Is he eligible to be a Knight of the Serpent? No. Okay. Well, I thought I would try, right? It's worth just trying, seeing if we could. I don't know. It was it was worth a shot. Um, So is that still inactive? That's still marked as inactive? Yeah, so notify me when that becomes available. I think it will be, but let's just leave it and see what happens. Okay. At the very least, we got a new knight who's got 13 prowess. 13's not terrible. You know, it's distinctly middle of the road for us, but that's not too bad. Okay. Uh, anyway, 
uh, I was decided the reason why I got sidetracked by this whole thing is I was looking at this and going one of three should it not be one of five because I wanted to upgrade this okay let's do it that costs us an extreme amount of money but that's okay that's okay we're, we're getting somewhere with this mm -hmm. child of my dynasty so this is a daughter or granddaughter of Amazonian fantastic love to see it love to see it okay uh how much do we need for the next one uh we need like another 112 okay so we'll just simply chill till we get there how's france looking france is looking relatively peaceful which you would expect right you would expect i'm a little worried about lille attacking us how are our alliance we we have alliances with everyone i forgot yeah yeah we're, we're alliance up so yeah we shouldn't be worried about them because Aquitaine, France, and um, what was it? Great Moravia. Is that the other one? Yeah, and Great Moravia would join. So that's like 9,000 troops in, in of themselves. And I have more allies. So yeah, we'll be okay. I uh, can pardon criminals. Who have we got? Oh, we got this guy. He schemed against me. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. We have a hook on him for that. So, Oh, we had a hook on him for that. We could imprison him and release him again for another hook, but yeah, I'm still not worried. I don't think it's going to come to anything. Even if it does, I mean, like, we're 55. We're not really expecting to be being this character for too much longer anyway. So, I'm kind of happy to chill. Right. Also, our money has gone up again. Look at that. We're now at 6.1. We dropped down to, um, what was it, 5 at one point. I think it's because that's they've fully reinforced, but still. Uh, you are now the Hornblower of Holland. Does that mean that Barthur is dead? Okay, you gain the Mentor attribute. Okay. Um, let me just see what, what's going on here. So we now have the Hornblower of Holland. What does it mean, gain the Mentor attribute? It had this guy's face said, gain the Mentor attribute. But like... Hmm. Interesting. I don't really know what these things are meaning. So it, I think this needs a little bit of work, like this whole system, just to be a little bit more transparent about what's happening on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Essentially, what happened is Barthur, I assume, is dead. Right? Uh, yeah, so he's dead. So then there was a succession, but then it popped up some other nonsense, which makes no sense whatsoever. Okay. So... Ah, so this guy is now eligible for that position. That's effectively all it's saying. Okay, I think. Oh, as they only fulfill the primary ac accolade attribute requirements, accolade succession will have increased glory loss and may replace the accolade secondary attribute. Oh, okay, so the secondary attribute has been changing all this time. I understand. Okay, so that's now politicker. Because we chose somebody who had a different secondary attribute. I understand. So if we want a true successor, we would do this. But this accolade already has potential successors, so you would have to choose somebody who's already in your court, which means that it would change the secondary, and it would change the secondary to mentor. But then you need to also, when you're doing this, what would be really useful to know is what is the mentor attribute? Because the only way I think you could find out is you go in here, you choose this guy, and then you're like, okay, so what's mentor? So mentor is number of knights learning and a uh, train commanders also increases their um like their tournament skill okay cool this i mean that seems neat but it would be lovely if it would just tell you that so that i think is what it's meaning okay so if i put him in as successor we'll get that i believe as our secondary attribute potentially i don't know okay yeah that's fine right can I do this attribute thing yet? No, I marked it as a special thing or accolade thing. Okay. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Lotharangia is here. It wasn't Lotharangia. It was Bavaria previously. Well, there was a succession, I'm guessing. Maybe. Wait, well, I'm to Lotharangia. I'm, I'm getting lost here. There was an inheritance. Um, But no, it was several generations back. No, Lotharangia has been there a while, I think. Maybe. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Right, we're, we're getting there. 
Not going crazy at all. Oh, that was an inspired person, but apparently they're gone now. Yep, they're already gone. That's fine. We weren't going to fund them. Excuse me? Oh, that's Neustria. I thought that was France. Okay. Uh, they've managed to get their way onto uh, Britain. Interesting. Um, you've got a claim on the Duchy of Eulich. I mean, that's very interesting if we were expanding. We're not currently expanding, though, so I'm not currently interested. I may be interested later. Stewardship perk available. Uh, we need to switch off a stewardship because I am just taking perks that I don't need. Let's take Vassal Tax Contribution, which gives us a little extra. Yeah, so, yeah, we're now making 2.7 out of it. That's fine. And then I am going to um, change off a stewardship because we don't need this. Uh, none of this is at any point useful until, like, Avarice, I think, probably, which we don't necessarily need. There's got to be a better thing for us to do right now. We finished all of this. Um, is there anything that makes your children better at this point? Probably not, right? I think we've already got all of them. I was thinking, is there something in here for children? I don't think there is. I think there's stuff for you. Maybe it's in this one? Uh, yeah, your wards can gain additional skills, I think, is the only other one I was thinking of. But we'd have to have done that one earlier. We could go here, go scientific. Uh, planned cultivation, scholarly circles, something like that. Yeah, I think that would be okay. And get the development growth from the uh, scholarship focus. Basically just use the end of each character's life to boost um, our tech. Okay, that's fine. Still working on battlements. Yeah, I should have checked whether... We got barracks recently. Did that actually give us the ability to upgrade anything? I can't check because I have no money to upgrade. Oh, I suppose I could do this. Uh, so I can upgrade that now. Okay. That seems worth it because it will make your stationed men-at-arms better. Uh, Ostfriesland. I can construct something. I actually want to construct a trade port here at some point as well. Uh, Zealand. Uh, I can probably upgrade some of these. Yeah, so I can upgrade, in fact, all of these. Yeah, so I can upgrade all of those in Zealand. Yeah, so there's a lot of upgrading for us to do. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to wait for one more tick and then I think we can buy these. Yeah, perfect. I could have bought them last one, but that's fine. So that's the last bit of um, investment into them. These are our best uh, men at arms though, and they are going to make our army significantly stronger. So that seems good to me. Right. And now we just chill. A new translation. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how much I do not yet know. What more, there must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages as books fall apart or languages are forgotten. Perhaps I could contribute by making a new translation of one of the classic works, although what would I even translate? And say it's too hard. I can translate the Arithmetica and the Commentaries of Diophantus or uh, Euclid's Mathematical Treatise. I don't think it really matters. No, uh, I will do this one. Cool. Uh, what's this? Ask your head of faith for gold? Of, of course I will ask my head of faith for gold. Of course. That's so much gold I'm making. Sartorial Sting. Um, Busied amidst... Un or busied. I don't know why I read that so stupidly. Uh, amidst another day at court. I overhear my wife... Um, my wife's distinct, irate tone. Cornelia seems to have gotten uh, her goat. Stepping closer, I see my guests uh, smugly jeering. These so-called fashions are an embarrassment. They would only be fit for servants and children at any respectable Italian court. Okay. Um, so let's see what we can do. She's only ribbing us. I suppose we could make a bit more of an effort and switch ourselves to decent fashion. Okay. Or passe. Passe. Um, let, let's, let's raise it to decent fashion. Yeah. It only costs us 0 0.4. I think I'm okay with that. Right. Uh... Holland has revealed a secret. Um, our Archbishop has love for another. He's a, he's a witch secret. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, sealed in my Archbishop's distinct uh, style, we have found um, someone else's secret. Oh, not his secret. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I learned of her witch secret and his lover's secret at the same time. Oh. Okay. 
Well, interesting. Can I do anything with those? Can I blackmail people? Let's go into the correct uh, thing. Wait, she doesn't have a witch secret. Um, yeah, she doesn't have a witch secret. Okay, I don't know. It must have meant lover secret on both of them, which makes a lot more sense. I can blackmail him for some money. Sure, let's blackmail him. Uh, thank you for the money. I've gained the blackmail hook. You see, I'm going to use that to take 15 gold off of you, mate. Thank you. My uh, guardian for my grandson is needed. So this is not my heir. This is my daughter's son. Okay. My daughter's son is going to do a diplomacy education. And um, we'll find somebody to educate him. Shrewd is a good education one. Yeah. So shrewd plus diplomacy plus learning. Seems good. Right. There we go. Um... We have some money. I suppose I should upgrade some things, right? Ooh, a tournament in Denmark. What is it? Board game tournament. Upgrade or go on a board game tournament trip? Upgrade or go on a trip? Upgrade or go on a trip? How, how far? I have to leave within 13 days to get there. I can do that. I want to go to the tournament. Okay. So, I need a caravan master. That's going to be you. You're excellent at it. Wonderful. There's a dangerous point here. Okay, it's forests. So we need somebody who's going to help us in forests. Do we have anyone who helps us in forests? I think I look at this every single time and then realize, oh, it says forest guide. Okay. So there are currently no dangerous routes whatsoever. Everywhere is a 1% chance of danger. I could select another one here. Circumspect lowers our speed but also lowers uh, ne negative chances against us, but I think that will mean that we'll arrive too late. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Uh, maybe I want to hire mercenary guards. It does cost us quite a lot, but maybe that's going to be good. It'll get us there a little bit earlier. Yeah. Extiv I, oh, I t we could have been circumspect, actually. Yeah, but this gives us a month of... Um, yeah, this gives us a month where we can potentially do other things. What's this? Point of interest. When visited, you gain 200 Diplomacy Lifestyle Experience. Alright, let me just see if we can customize our route. Maybe we can customize it on the way back, but let's just have a look. I will arrive in time for the tournament. Look at that. I'll still arrive in time for the tournament. Hmm. It's going to be close. You know what? Let's cancel that. Let's do it on the way back. Is there anywhere else I want to go? Ooh, if I go here, I can get Diplomacy Lifestyle Experience as well. Let's go here, and then here. There we go. So we're going to arrive on time, and over here, we're going to marshal there, and we're going to work our way back. We get some Martial Lifestyle Experience by visiting these places as well. Yeah, so after visiting Mecklenburg, I would actually like to go here. Then here. Then all the way back. This is a long trip. Okay. I'm happy with that. Um, entourage. Here's everyone who's coming with us. Yeah, sure. We're going on an adventure. Also, I, st I still have some money, so I could, in theory, start building now. But let's not worry about it. Let's go. A new translation. Uh, a specific phrase from the Arithmetica uh, has been frustrating my translation efforts for days. I've even started muttering to myself sometimes. Still struggling with that one, are you? My Archbishop hefts a weighty tome. One simply knows it needs to know where to look. So I can be friends with him, or it will improve the um, translation quality slightly. So that's all good, or just tell me what I'm looking for. Yeah, sure, why not? 50% chance it goes better? Why, why not do that? Okay. Local hero. As we traverse the woodlands, trudging through the tree roots, we encounter a modest wayward shrine. Naively carved, it sports a cross at his head, and below the weathered words, Here lays Saint Catherine of Gelera, blessed daughter of Hathervik. Um, Saint Catherine of Gelera seems a local spiritual figure is being patronized in these parts, one not sanctioned by the Catholic clergy. So we can desecrate the tomb. Okay. We cannot do that. 
we can uh, get popular opinion and a local saint, or we'd best be going. I'll spend some money. Let's upgrade it. Poor soul. As the procession rolls through the plains of Overstrix, I spot a peasant walking alongside the road with no shoes. His feet are bloodied and swollen. He clearly must have been walking for a long time. As I pass him, I look him closely in the face, the sad, sad eyes, the grimace of pain. Perhaps I could help him sometime. How? Get him shoes are not really my issue, is it? I'll give him some shoes. Why not? A noble in disguise? With shoes now covering his callous feet, my pe the peasant gives me a knowing smile and walks to match my pace. You're a good and kind king, and that kindness will be rewarded. I am Sebastian of House Van Loon, and I always reward those with kind hearts. You're who of who? Ah, you've been generated out of nowhere. That's fine. It would seem this man is not a peasant at all, but a noble of great wealth. Uh, or he can join us. He is truly awful. I will just take the 100 gold and be thankful and on my way. Okay, I think I can probably afford to upgrade something now. Um, New Zealand. Let, oh, no. Uh, which one? Ha one didn't have a building, right? Yeah, Frisia. Let's get the... Um, let's get the trade port building there. Cool. And back to our trip. Scales of power have been swinging. Oh, no. Is my wife... Um, she's situationally loyal. Oh. Hey, get me money, by the way, wife. Yeah, do that. So she's trying to swing the power up here. Okay. Everyone else, though, is selfless. I probably should have made sure one of them was going to be my regent. Anyway. We're at the tournament. Fantastic. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause, pause, pause. We already qualify, which is lovely. That's, that's a first. Um, my intent is triumph. Um... I think I want to go to the tourney ground, uh, grounds to train. Okay. Go, Songbird. Go faster. I hear man's voice echo through the grounds. I look up to see a small thing hurrying through the sky like a little black bolt of lightning. Soon enough, it swoops down towards the finishing line. Ah, you must have cheated. Your bird cannot fly that fast. Just look at her. She's wobbly like a duck. The angry loser shouts of the winner looking smug. So I gained five experience in Falconer. Excellent entertainment. Must have uh, taken a lot of preparation to do this. Gets us moderately um, prepared. All or nothing, or I don't have time for this. Let's go moderate preparation. That's fine. Anything else I need to do here? Um, I don't think so. I can't do anything for a bit anyway. So let's go speed four. Just let it roll on. Oh, you know what would help? Unpausing the game. Yes, yeah, that's really useful. War waits for no man. Oh, um, the blurring warhorns have reached me here in the Mecklenburg Grand Tournament. I've been summoned to aid in the war between Jarl Relf and King Wolfhard. Wait. The Northmen are attacking me? No, no. Um, rally the troops. Um, I can manage things from here. And then we're going to leave this menu. And we're going to work out how we uh, win this war. Do I have allies who can join me? I do. I have Moravia and Aquitaine. Why can France not join me? He's a house member. I could call him to war that way. But we're allied. Why could I not just call him because he's my ally? I don't know. Anyway. Great Moravia, you want to help me in this war? Yeah, sure. I thought you did. Um... Uh, Aquitaine? This isn't Aquitaine Aquitaine, this is someone else. Are you related to me? No, okay. This is, I forgot, this is small Aquitaine? Sure. I'll call him to war anyway. House members? Um, I'm definitely thinking I want to call the King of France into war. Yeah. Let's find somewhere for our troops to raise. So I might raise them back here. Let's raise all. And then there is a holy order, which are already hired. Oh, no. Well, hopefully that's not going to be the end of us. Let's raise some people. What's the war for? The Duchy of Utrecht. That's horrible. That's the middle of my territory. Okay. I forgot I'm in a board game tournament. Uh, I'm facing Sverk here. I'm ready. Sabotage. If I had myself, I would co win this contest in a tournament, but I can't help consider a less fair approach. This is no way to win. I'm not going to cheat. Yeah. 
Okay, tabletop tantrum. Um, the table flips with an almighty thwack, sending the chess pieces flying. Sverker's mood suddenly tur um, turned suddenly several moves ago as he realized a simple mistake had all but decided the game in my favor. Yes, yes, you win, King Wolfhard. Happy? Pick, pick them up. I need to make my last moves. Come, let's go back a few moves. My score increases. Or you know, you could have just conceded. Um, no, I say I need to make my last move. Okay. The, this is our max size of army. Really hope my allies join me at some point. Semi finals. I'm facing Kajartan. Sure. The game of chess seems to be going perfectly. I'm thinking that three, maybe f even four moves ahead of my opponent when suddenly Kajartan makes a move that causes my intricate strategy to melt away like a snowdrop in a candle's flame. I'm completely out of options. If I don't do something rash, I will surely lose the match. I can cheat. There's this obscure rule or I won't cheat. I'm going to put an extra piece on the board. Uh, the soft clicking of moving pieces disturbs the calm. We are deep into the end game now and the game hangs in balance. I ponder what has already happened, such as when I saw and mulled over an opening to cheat. I'm winning by some margin, provided I can press this advantage hard. Victory is surely on the horizon. So we can do a learning martial challenge. We can do a learning diplomacy challenge. A learning intrigue challenge or play it safe. Uh, we definitely want to do the learning diplomacy challenge. Did I win? Is that me winning or is that me losing? End game. Oh no, the moment my hand leaves the playing piece, I know I've made a mistake. Oh no, I lost. You knocked me out. Signy knocked Dagmir of Lubis out. Okay, so that's, uh, that's Signy of Denmark. Seems like a fair one. She just happened to make it to the final. The Northerner Menace. Okay. A horde of disjointed pirates, landless freemen, desperate lesser children, assorted miscreants have joined Refer in his proposed assault against my holdings. Although the size of the force is formidable, they lack discipline or loyalty. With each scrounged mercenary focused exclusively on whatever they can get out of the war first and foremost. Unlike a conventional foe, it might be possible to simply deal directly with the invaders. Perhaps a bargain could be struck. Never go back to your hellscape of a home. I can give him the Duchy of Utrecht. Okay. Um, he will become my vassal. I can pay him 300 gold to go away. Or banish them. Um, we'll deal with them the way we've always dealt with them. Wait, don't we always lose? Okay. Um, Kajartan has won. Well done, him. Okay, fine contest. I'm kind of busy. Uh, okay, so everybody gets a bonus. All qualified players get this, though, which is extra learning. Nice. Okay. And the game has come to its conclusion. Wonderful. Right, now we're on our way back, I think. Uh, I'm just going to continue waiting. Okay, thank you. I think they could also do with a small version of that pop-up. I think that would be useful. I could call Conrad Conrad Rissen into war as well. You know what? Sure, let's call him into war as well. It's only 100 troops, but we'll do it. Okay, where's the Northerner uh, army? Right? Where are the people we're fighting? Because they don't appear to have landed yet. Uh, go to location. It says he's here. He ain't there. I can tell you that for certain. The person we're fighting is not there. Um. Okay. Well, I'm getting bonuses for visiting places. Is nice. Gain some more bonuses. Uh, you know what I could do? You can maybe look at his courtiers and find one of them. It still claims they're here? They're quite clearly not there, though. Right? Oh, there, there they are. Okay. I was thinking they're quite clearly not where they say they are. <laughs> okay. Join me, ally. Where's my other ally? Making his way across. Okay, that's fine. 
I'm kind of tempted to take the fight, but I'd love to take the fight with these guys as well. Let's go here. Yeah. I'm trying to move myself closer to the to this group. Okay. A new translation. Okay. Uh, I can spend some more time on it. You can spend less time on it. I can spend no time on it. Let's spend more time on it. Let's make it good. Okay, they're under siege. This is fine. They reach us in 39 days. The siege is going to take 14 months and 11 months. We have time to wait. We will wait. Visit the capital of the Kingdom of East Francia, gaining more lifestyle experience. Really, you should do this earlier in your life, so that you have the lifestyle experience when you want to switch between things, but whatever. I still think it's cool to do it. Right. They're almost here. They are here. Wonderful. Allies, we're moving. Also, can I get a holy order yet? No. We're moving. They, they know what I'm doing. I'm going to go here and attack. It thinks it'll be close. <laughs> uh, that's um, interesting. That's very interesting. It thinks it'll be in any way close. Yeah, now they're like, oh, you're, you're actually going to attack them? You're that crazy? I'm going to hold off a second. Wait for them to actually make it to that province. No, no, I'm attacking. There we go. <laughs> Just needed to do a little bit of like... Uh, no, you really do want to help. My regency ended. I'm back. <laughs> and now we're going to attack. So they're moving their troops in. We should be fine. Deliberately going very slowly. They're running? Oh, that's good. Now, we expect to lose the start here. Although they have no men at arms and no knights, we still expect to lose at the start due to pure, pure numbers. But the moment that these troops start coming in, so in four days, then we're going to start to swing it. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Now we're winning. So now if I speed it up a little bit, you'll see because we have so many knights, so many men at arms, we're going to crush them. This is what I was saying we could have done in France, effectively. They do have some men at arms. Oh, interestingly, they split off the men at arms to a siege. Huh. Oh, well, that didn't go very well for them. They lost their army because they, if they lose a battle, they lose them. Uh, I believe. I think that happens 100% of the time. Yep, they lost their entire army. So, uh, he pays zero to me. Oh, wonderful. Uh, he does, however, lose 500 gold somehow, despite the fact that he pays zero to me. And he loses Viking Exile. Uh, and we gain reprieve from Scandinavian adventurers for 10 years. Wonderful. I, re I enforce my demands. We have saved ourselves. And we are yeah in a pretty good position now, I'd say. Right. Well, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.